Welcome to the City Council meeting for May, uh, excuse me, June 27th, 2016. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before we start tonight, Council, I just want to take a minute. Uh, it's, we often have counselors who bring their children and their grandchildren to the meetings, but we don't often have a counselor who brings his grandparents to the meeting. <laughs> and uh, we have here visiting from Florida tonight, Pat and John Lally and Uncle Mike Lally, the uh, grandfather of Counselor Lally. So thank um, you for coming up tonight. For the <laughs> Item number one. <clears throat> With approval of the City Council minutes of May 23rd, 2016 and June 13th, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Lawrence B. Noonan, Jr., 234 Howard Street, Brockton, to the position of fire alarm operator in the Brockton Fire Department. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, thank you. In light of the fact that we're in summer schedule, and I know these positions are important to the fire department, and we won't be meeting again until... Uh, end of July. I'm going to ask that we suspend the rules this evening and appoint these uh, two fine gentlemen to these positions. Second. Second. Uh, take them collectively also? Collectively, yes. Motion made and seconded to act on items two and three collectively and under suspension of the rules this evening. All those in favor? Opposed? Uh, Councilor, could you read item number three also? Appointment of Mark F. Hanrahan, 75 Hatchfield Drive, Brockton, to the position of fire alarm operator in the Brockton Fire Department. Questions on approval of the appointment. Uh, Mr. Clerk, will you please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The appointments are approved. Uh, I Mr. believe President. Mr. Noonan and Mr. Henry. Mr. Mr. President, if I might. Councilor Ianieri. I'd like to move for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed? Reconsideration does not pass. Uh, Mr. Uh, Noonan and Mr. Hanrahan, would you step up, please? Thank you. Uh, good luck, and we'll take a two-minute recess.
We're back in session. Uh, Mr. Clerk, item number four. Petition of J and G Auto Repair for a Motor Vehicle Repair License at 754 Warren Avenue. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Uh, is there anyone here in favor of the uh, anyone here for J and G Auto? You can step right up to the uh, microphone, please. <coughs> Step right up and, uh, to the microphone and uh, just say your names for the clerk. Elsie Sherry and Jane Lewis. Lewis. Thank you. Uh, questions? Councilor Stadensky. I haven't had a chance to talk with these folks, so I have no stipulations. I'd like to continue this to the end of the meeting. I will meet with them while you go through the uh, communications and get the stipulations Second. worked out. Motion made and seconded to uh, postpone the uh, hearing. We'll keep the hearing open until the end of the meeting. All those in favor? Opposed? We will finish this at the end of the meeting. Councilor Stanetsky wants to meet with you. He's a counsel from the ward. So, uh, item number five. Report of the ordinance committee for its meeting of June 14th, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. The audience committee for a meeting of June 21, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Order the public safety committee for a meeting of June 21, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor forwarding a request for an exemption from Article 3, Section 2-10 of the revised ordinances. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the water commission recommending that the city grant an easement to the town of Kingston over city land in Kingston for the purpose of stormwater banishment. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police relative to the reauthorization of the animal control revolving fund for fiscal 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police relative to the reauthorization for the K-9 unit revolving fund for fiscal year 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police relative to the reauthorization of the police department closed case revolving fund for fiscal year 2017. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the city council authorizes the appropriation of $142,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, to police department overtime. <clears throat> to provide additional funding in the police overtime budget to ensure continuity of the services in the month of August and September. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the city council <laughs> authorize the appropriation of $60,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017, to Board of Health Personal Services other than overtime, provide funding for a vacant position of a sanitary inspector currently unfunded, and the fiscal 2017 mm. budget. Accepted and placed on file. Information from the CFO <laughs> relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Information from the mayor recommending the city council authorize an appropriation of 183,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017 to police department personal services other than overtime to provide funding for two additional emergency telephone dispatches. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending an appropriation of eight 18,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, to council on aging personal services other than overtime, provide funding for additional part-time staff position in fiscal 2017. This was requested by the council on aging in its budget request, but not funded in the mayor's budget. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommended an appropriation of $50,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017, 50000 to DPW Engineering, personal services other than overtime, 37000 and DPW Maintenance, personal services other than overtime, 13000 to provide additional funding for the newly hired city engineer and to correct the calculation error on the salary charge for the maintenance division. Accepted and placed on file. Let's see if I can jump over here. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. 
communication from the mayor recommended an appropriation of 12,000 from unappropriate estimated receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017, to traffic commission ordinary maintenance services to provide funding for the consulting engineering study of several intersections. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommended an appropriation of $75,000 for an unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, to DPW Water Commission, Water Enterprise Fund, desalinization charges, to provide additional funding for up to 15 days of purchase of desalinated water. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the Director of Planning and Economic Development relative to grant award in the amount of $1,276,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Mass Works Program, the City of Brockton Planning Department Mass Work Programs Grant Fund. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the Mayor recommending the City Council authorize that grant. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the Director of Planning and Economic Development relative to a grant award and the amount of $30,000 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Community Compact Program. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the DPW Commissioner relative to $40,000 grant from the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection Division of Municipal Services. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Yeah, accepted and placed on file. Application from the city auditor certifying that the balance of the ambulance receipt reserve for appropriations is $522,801.95. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief, fire chief requesting a transfer $10,000 from ambulance receipts to fire department ordinary maintenance services telephones $10,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Yeah, accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the city council authorize the appropriation of $900,000 to pay costs of developing a municipal school facilities master plan and to provide funding through borrowing set amounts. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO <clears throat> relative to the same with a conditional certification. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommended the city council authorize the appropriation of $6,600,000 in order to provide funding through either borrowing or lease purchase financing for an agreement between Mass Department of Environmental Protection, Massachusetts Clean Water Trust, the Trust, and the City of Brockton. This agreement will pay for the cost in designing and constructing sewer mains and related apparatuses throughout the City of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted. It's a conditional certification. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommended the city council authorize an appropriation of $1,100,000 in order to provide funding for borrowing for an agreement between mm, Mass mean. Department of Environmental Protection, Mass Clean Water Trust, the trust, sure. and the city of Brockton. This agreement will pay for the cost of designing and making sewer flow meter improvements. Accepted and placed on file. Communication has a conditional certification on this. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommended the city council authorize the appropriation of $4 million in order to provide funding for the making energy efficiency improvements to the city street lighting system, including associated design and engineering services, the conversion of standard lighting devices to LED devices, fixture upgrades, and the payment of all costs. The total amount authorized to be borrowed by this order shall be reduced to the extent of any grants or rebates received by the city on account of this project prior to the issuance of any permanent financing pursuant to this order. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Council Sullivan. Mr. President, I want to make a motion to take collectively agenda items 54 through 61. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to take items number 54 through 61 collectively. All those in favor? All those opposed? So moved. Uh, Mr. Clerk, could you read items 54 through 61? Okay, we have the <clears throat> licenses that were out of public safety and recommended favorably. Golden Dreams Jewelry, renewal, secondhand precious metals and gems, located at 365 Westgate Drive. Gary Epps Spain, Timeless Antiques, renewal, secondhand precious metals and gems, located at 1208 Belmont Street. Ideal Pawn, 
Renewal of Secondhand Precious Metals and Gems, located at 242 Main Street. Cowan's Enterprise Inc., DBA Cowan's Taxi, two additional taxi licenses, located at 383 Warren Avenue. K Jewelers, for renewal of secondhand precious metals and gems, located at 200 Westgate Drive, Suite 4A. Petition of London W. Hall, DBA Quality Fools for Hawker and Peddlers license. Petition of Traders World LLC, licenses a dealer, secondhand precious metals and gems, 21 Tory Street, and of Traders World LLC for licenses a dealer and secondhand articles at 21 Tory Street. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Carwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The orders are adopted. An and audit, 62. An ordinance amending chapter two of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton be ordained by the city council of the city of Brockton as follows. Section 2-398, composition of the conservation commission is hereby deleted and replaced. Question is to be ordained as amended by roll call vote. Will the clerk <coughs> please call the roll? Barnes. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. The order is ordained. <clears throat> in ordinance amending chapter 17 of revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council, City of Brockton, as follows. Chapter 17, Article 2, Planning Board, Section 17-18. Members is hereby deleted in its entirety and replaced with a new section. Question is uh, to be ordained as amended by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The ordinance is ordained. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton by amending Division 2, the Employee Classification Plan. Councilor's uh, hand vote passed through third reading. Sorry, oh, Councilor, I was Councilor. ready to say, Mr. President. Um, I, would like to, I would like to move to send this back to finance for a clarification. Second. Motion made, properly second, to send it back to finance. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed? Did you get that? I, didn't get I would like you know, to ask for a roll, a roll call. Take a roll call vote on that if we could. All in favor of sending it back to finance committee. Roll call vote then. Azak. Yes. Barnes. No. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Excuse me. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. No. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Six. Six. Six in the affirmative. The matter is sent back to Finance Committee, Agenda Item 64. An ordinance preventing Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council. The City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2, Administration, Section 2-28, is hereby amended effective January 1, 2018. Question is on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? All those opposed? Sent to a third reading. An ordinance amending Chapter 8 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton by adding a section required commercial premises to provide and maintain litter receptacles. Mr. Uh, the President. The question is on the amendment and Councillor Razak. I would like the amendment read, please. I hereby move to amend the foregoing ordinance by deleting the words provided, however, that this section does not apply to the first fire district as defined in section 7-12. Question is on the amendment. All those in favor of the amendment? All those opposed? The amendment carries. Question is now on passage to a third reading. All those in favor? Opposed? Sent to a third reading. Item 67. Order that the City Council approves the first addendum to the November 10, 
2014 intermunicipal agreement with the town of Abington authorizes the mayor to execute any and all documents to effectuate the same. Refer to finance. That the city council approves a request for exemption from Article 3, Section 2 110 of the revised audiences. Refer to finance. Order that pursuant to the Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and 1 half, city council authorizes the reestablishment of the K 9 unit revolving fund for fiscal two seven, uh, 2017. Refer to finance. Under the pursuant to the Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and 1 half, City Council authorizes the reestablishment of the animal control revolving fund not to exceed $5,000 for fiscal year 2017. Better refer to finance. Ordered that the pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and 1 half, City Council authorizes the reestablishment, approves a reauthorization of the Police Department closed cases revolving fund for fiscal 2017. Refer to finance. An appropriation of 142000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, to Police Department overtime to provide additional funding and the police overtime budget to ensure continuity of services in the months of August and September. Refer to finance. Appropriation $60,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, ordinary revenue 2017, to Board of Health, personal services other than overtime, provide funding for a vacant position of a sanitary inspector currently unfunded in the fiscal 2017 budget. Refer to finance. Appropriation of 183000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, fiscal 2017, to police department, personal services other than overtime, to provide funding for two additional emergency telephone dispatches. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $18,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017, to Council on Aging, personal services other than overtime, provide funding for additional part-time staff position in fiscal 2017. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $50,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017, $50,000, to DPW Engineering, personal services other than overtime, $37,000, and DPW Maintenance, personal services other than overtime, $13,000, to provide additional funding for the newly hired city engineer and to correct the calculation error on the salary charge for the maintenance division. Refer to finance. Appropriation $12,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, ordinary uh, revenues, fiscal 2017, to traffic commission, ordinary maintenance services, provide funding for the consulting engineering studies of several intersections. This was requested by the commission in its budget request, but not funded in the mayor's budget. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $75,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, ordinary revenue, 2017, to DPW Water Commission, Water Enterprise Fund, desalinization charges to provide additional funding for up to 15 days of purchase of desalinated water during the summer at the full contractual amount. The funds will allow the city to exercise a sustained full test of the system. Refer to finance. Order that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award in the amount of $1,276,000 from Commonwealth of Mass, Mass Works Program, to City of Brockton, Planning Department, Mass Works Program Grant Fund, fund roadway reconstruction, streetscape improvements along Center Street. There is no required match. Refer to finance. Order that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award in the amount of $30,000, Commonwealth of Massachusetts Community Compact Program, the City of Brockton Planning Department Community Compact Program Fund, in order to plan the first steps in securing funding from the Mass School Building Authority for critical building and rehabilitation projects. Refer to finance. Order the City Council authorize the ex acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award, <clears throat> any amount of $40,000 for the Massachusetts Department <clears throat> of Environmental Protection, Division of Municipal Services Grant, mm -hmm. the City of Brockton Department of Public Works Division, Municipal Service Grant Fund, for inventory and horizontal infrastructures for the purchase of a GIS hardware and supportive field work. This is an in-kind match of $4,012. Refer to finance. Transfer from ambulance receipts, $10,000. to fire department, ordinary maintenance, telephone, $10,000. Refer to finance. Loan order of $900,000, appropriate pay cost of developing a municipal and school facilities, master plan, including the payment of all costs, incidental, and related thereto. And to meet this appropriation, the city, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount. 
The CFO's certification is conditional, provided that the city will appropriate its present unused tax levy capacity, which currently exceeds $3 million, to pay the annual debt service costs when it comes due. Refer to finance. Loan order of $6,600,000, appropriated to pay costs designing and constructing sewer mains and related appurtenances, <clears throat> including the payment of all costs incidental related thereto, and to meet this appropriation, the CFO's certification is a conditional certification, provided that the City Council be willing to periodically increase rates so that the sewer enterprise fund remains fully self-sufficient. Refer to finance. Loan order of $1,100,000, appropriated pay costs designing, making sewer flow metering improvements, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto. And to meet this appropriation, the city, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount. The CFO certification is a conditional certification, provided that the city council is willing to periodically increase rates so that the sewer enterprise funds remains fully self-sufficient. Referred to finance. Loan order of $4 million is appropriated to pay costs for making energy efficiency improvements to the city street lighting system. City with the approval of the mayor is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 73B. Refer to finance. Resolved that the chairman of the Board of Assessors report to the city council on the process and steps followed in assessing the values of homes of the city. Refer to finance. Resolved that the Plymouth Register of Deeds be requested to appear before a committee of this council to provide information on the current status of foreclosures within the city. Refer to finance. Councilors, we uh, will now go back to the hearing. Uh, uh, we uh, it's still in the part of the hearing. If there is anyone in favor, please step forward and give your name. You can come back up now to the microphone. You can state your name again for the clerk, please. Elsie Sherry. Jim Benesluy. Councilor Stanetsky. President Van Mike. That's a hearing. I'm you don't have to stand. You can sit, Councilor. I'm, I'm old. I'm <laughs> You're up now. Up again. Uh, I'm not trouble not getting down. Petitioners. Uh, and uh, they seem like very, very good uh, candidates to have a license. And at that location, they understand the drawbacks of that location. So the uh, days and hours of operation, the days of Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, they understand to keep the area clean of oil, uh, car parts, and all those, uh, et cetera, things that can uh, build up around uh, outside the properties. Uh, the parking will be four cars on the property. Uh, any vehicle is uh, un under repair uh, can be uh, kept overnight, four. Uh, during the day, six cars during the work day, uh, it, uh, the hours uh, uh, they've been worked on on the property. Uh, and they, we got a nice talk and they understand parking problem possibilities in the street and they, they seem like they would really work hard towards that. I advise them about no automatic soda dispensers or any, any other type of dispenser outside in front of the business. And uh, they did know, like me, that what a payphone was, which was good. No <laughs> payphones either outside. It is a thing of the past. And with that, uh, we are in agreement in that, and I'll give these to council. When I close the hearing, we'll make those a stipulation on the motion. Uh, any other questions? Councilor Barnes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, are you uh, the uh, have you been the owners of that um, particular location for some time, or are you new owners? New owners. New owners, okay. And um, I've, if it's the one that I'm thinking of, it's right behind Vicente, right there in the corner? Right, okay. Um, there are, are the, the cars that are there or that have been there, have they all been removed? I haven't driven down there in a long time, but there used to be a lot of cars kind of stacked up there, and listening to Councilor Stadinsky's, um stipulations, it, it greatly reduces the cars that used to be just kind of sitting out there on the property. What, what are your plans for those if you've not done something with them already? Um, we want to move them somewhere with a lot. So we can pay for them and whenever like, um, we need them, we can just bring them and work on them. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't. Can you um, go to the microphone? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you um, and I didn't understand. So we can pay for, like, for them, pay a lot where we can store them and then whenever you, we need them, we can bring them back and work on them. Okay, so there are customers' cars that have been deposited at your place no, to be repaired? No, not yet or? customers' cars. Those are like all cars that we're planning on working on. 
Okay, so if it's a repair license and they're not customers' cars that have been deposited there for you to work on, what would you, why would you repair them? Are you going to sell them? Or I, I'm no, just we confused. don't do sell, but like sometimes it's like all cars. Like there was like three cars. One was supposed to, what, that belonged to my brother. He took it already. And some are like all cars that we leave during the night, like couple cars. Or ours. Okay, I'm, I'm just slightly confused because, it, like I said, there are real strict restrictions on um, the amount of cars that you can have there overnight and on the lot and to be repaired. And if there are more than 10, I think it is the store. No, that was how long ago? Uh, a couple of weeks ago. 10? Yeah, at least. I, I mean, there, there were just a lot of cars. I mean, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm saying in the stipulations, it's, he said four overnight and six on the lot to be repaired. So there were a lot there and in the back. If I remember correctly, there were a lot. There's people leave in the back. Sometimes they park their cars too, but uh, I'm not sure about that one. I, that's, that's why I was trying to get it clear, because I don't think it was all all cows. Okay, all right. I just I just didn't want you to be violating anything, you know, right now. No, out of we the... we are aware about okay, it. Okay, great. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, and I appreciate your your cooperation. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Councilor. Anyone else? Is there anyone else uh, here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition to this license? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, I, I would move to have this license granted favorably. Second. Uh, the question is on granting the license with the stipulations as moved by Councillor uh, Stadensky. Uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? The license is granted as stipulated. Thank you. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Uh, any other items? Councilor Ianieri. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I just want to remind those that sit on the uh, accounts committee that we're going to be meeting on Monday evening, July 18th. That's prior to our finance meeting at 6.15 p.m. in the uh, GAR room. So that's an accounts committee meeting, 6.15 p.m. on July 18th in the GAR room. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Azak. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may. Tomorrow evening, Councillor uh, Lally and myself will be having a joint uh, community meeting of Ward 6 and 7. It, the time is 7 p.m. at 695 Nor North Main Street, which is located on Ward 6, at the new Father Bill's building, um, Jack's Place, on the second floor in the community room. Um, the residents would be able to ask questions. There's representatives from Father Bill's there, so they can ask questions. They'll be able to view the, um, the new building. And uh, Father Bills will also present their plans for what they are hoping to do across the street at the old hospital or Catholic charities. So we look forward to seeing everybody, uh, everybody there tomorrow evening, 7 p.m., 695 North Main Street. And um, if you have any questions, you can always feel free to call me or it's posted on social media, it's posted on the city website, um, or you can call me. So my number's also on, available, let me give it out just in case nobody has it, 508 840 7957, or you can contact Councilor Lally. So, look forward to seeing everybody. Thank you. I thought Jack's place was the Councilor's house. <coughs> <laughs> Councilor Lally. If anyone shows up there, we'll give them directions. A moment of personal privilege? You may. Uh, the following night, Wednesday, June 29th at 7 p.m., I will be having a ward meeting at the Ashfield Middle School. We'll be talking about the budget. Thank you. What time is that? 7 p.m. And while I yep. have the microphone, I'd like to thank my grandparents and my Uncle Mike for showing up. <laughs> thank you. Any other uh, items before us? Uh, as Councilor Ianieri reminded you, uh, we are on summer session. We won't be here till July 18th. If you filed a resolve or anything, get me the information on who you want invited That's a uh, so we make sure we get everybody for <laughs> July 18th. Thank you very much, Councilors. We're adjourned.